By now, many of you know what Lantern Bot is. It's a much better, faster, much more convenient doo doo bot personal to your Discord servers, and you don't even have to compete with hundreds of thousands of people to <laughs> try and get it, to go and get your shiny. As evident by my Discord over the past week, guys, hundreds if not thousands of people got their shinies over the course of the last week where we hosted Fish Guys Lantern Bot, and we finally have a tutorial now on how you can actually make your own. Yes! We're gonna have millions of these bots. Now all of these shinies were procured with one single bot over the course of a week. There's just so many. Every every window you see here, guys, is a new shiny frame that people are going to go after and try to get, and they're gonna get shinies out of it. Guaranteed, 100%. Now, in order to actually do this tutorial, you will need a hacked CFW switch. So, of course, shout out for this goes to Fish Guy over on YouTube, who came to me early on when he first made this bot, asking me to do a video and if it would be useful. And so, big thanks to that because we had it in our server for a week. I'm going to do a voiced over tutorial for this, which is something he didn't feel like he wanted to do. However, he did a written tutorial. If you guys want to see the original, you can. It's down below in the description. Or go to his channel, check it out because uh, he's bo he's doing some good work on this. He has given me permission to use some of his footage for my my own tutorial here, which is the voiced over one, so hopefully you guys find it clear and useful. So guys, first things first, you want to hit the link in the description that will bring you to this page to download Python. The first step is to download Python, and you have to download this version in particular, 3.7.6, go ahead and click that. Scroll down to the bottom and you're going to see a bunch of options here. You want to hit the Windows the X 86 64 executable installer like this it'll come up here at the bottom go ahead and open that and here we have certain things we want to make sure both of these boxes are ticked like that and we want to install now the next step guys requires you to have that SD card from your hacked switch take that out of your switch and connect it to your computer you're going to need an extender or you know an adapter to plug in an SD card into your computer, unless your computer already has SD slots, go ahead and stick your SD card in there. Next you want to hit the link for SysBot in the description and you want to go to the 12 releases. In the releases guys there's a zip file, click on that to download the zip file. <clears throat> Open the zip file and extract it to your SD card you just connected to your computer. You can just drag it over or you can extract it however you want. Once that's done guys, you're safe to eject the SD card and go ahead and put it back into your switch after this. The next step guys, we're going to go ahead to this link, a third link, which is also down below in the description. This is Lantern Bob's public source code. You can all use this to make your own. If we scroll down here, we have some prerequisites we need to install. We're gonna have to install these two things. So hit Windows and R together, and that'll bring up your run, type CMD to get your command prompt up. In this black box, guys, we're gonna copy and paste these two things right here. And we're gonna do them one at a time. As we paste these into the command prompt, these are going to install. You have to do these for the bot. Let it all run through and let it all record or download everything and install everything it needs to. Once you're finished with all this guys, you can just as well go ahead and hit the X up at the top right to close the window. But make sure you do wait until it is clearly finished. The next step guys is we're going to be using this page one more time. We're going to go up here to download the source as a zip. Go ahead there and download it. And you want to extract this somewhere you'll remember, somewhere safe, okay? Let's go ahead and extract this to my desktop right here, which is right there, voila. So for me, there it is guys, this is the lantern source. The next step guys is to add it to your Discord server. So you wanna go ahead and hit the link for the developer tab for Discord down below in the description. Go ahead and hit new application and name it whatever you want. And I allow self advertising through the name of the bot in my server for people who've added it there. They'll bring you to a page like this guys. Here you wanna go ahead and into the bot tab over on the left course, you're going to have to add a bot to this part. Voila, we've now added our bot. And as with programs like this, we're always going to need a token. So go ahead and reveal your token. Go ahead and copy and paste your token somewhere like on a notepad, because we're going to need this for the next step. Go over to the OAuth2, and you want to hit the bot, tick the bot option there as well. That's going to give you a link down below at the bottom. That's the link for your bot, which is pretty useful. So you want to copy and paste that link into your web browser and you want to press enter. That's going to bring you back to Discord where you're going to give the bot authorization in one of the servers of your choice. So go ahead and select your server, 
bot testing and uh, authorize it. Next guys, we're gonna go back to where we had our lantern bot source code. I'm gonna go in. We wanna right click bot.py like this and we're gonna edit with idle, okay? Edit with idle. That's gonna bring up this business here, which shows you everything with the bot. Oh, dude, the text doesn't get any bigger, I'm afraid, sorry. But anyway, this is where the important part is. Remember I told you the guys to save your token? Get your notepad up where you did that. There's mine. And I'm gonna copy and paste this right in here where it says your token here. Be careful to leave the inverted commas in place. You don't want to get rid of those. Just copy and paste your token like so. Next up guys, we need to go into Discord and we need to go to our user settings down here. Go to appearance right here. Go all the way down and we're going to enable developer mode. That's very important. So let's go back into our server. Let's have a let's type something and go down to it. <laughs> And you want to copy and paste your co copy ID here. Copy ID. After that, go into the bot again where we had it. Right here, the internal bot. And we want to go down to the admin discord ID as int right here. Leaving the brackets intact, guys. Paste it right there. Once you've done that, everybody, you want to go ahead and you want to go to where it says placeholder for your bot name. And you want to get rid of all of it and put in a name of your choice. I'm gonna call it Blaine's bot. From here guys, go back into your lantern bot source code and go ahead to raid commands.py. It might be raid finder, depends on some people I think. It might depend on the version. So anyway, I raid commands.py again, right click, edit with idle like this. And here we're gonna be able to adjust what size the queue is. So here the queue is 20. You can make that 30, you can make that one, however you want. That number right there. You also want to do the same thing as the last one with placeholder. You want to go ahead and search for placeholders and you want to change it with the name of your bots. So let's go for the first one here. So once you find them guys, you want to change the whole thing, including the, I suppose, brackets, the squared brackets, and you want to change it with the name of your bot. The same name. Here's another one as well. Go ahead and change it like that. Once you've done all of them guys, go ahead and save it and close it. One more time guys, you want to go back into your lantern bot and you want to go to doo doo client this time. Right click, open with idle or edit with idle and here we're going to actually put in our switch IP. Your switch IP can be found in your settings going down to internet and there it is right there. Here you want to go back into your doo doo client and you want to put in your switch IP replacing the green text only and not the quotation marks. You want to leave the quotation marks there. So go ahead and put your switch IP like this right in there. This part's optional guys. For anyone who has experience with Lantern Bot, you know it DMs you a code to trade. In the doo, -doo client, if you scroll down, you're going to find this get passcode button sequence in here. Now this is optional. You can change this none to a set passcode if you wanted to use the same passcode, but make sure you use no zeros. It says it right here. And if you leave it as none like this, it will use a random passcode like you've probably been experiencing in my server so far. Once that's all done guys, you can go ahead and save and close the window. Now in your game guys, you're gonna set up position for the bot. Now you wanna go into your game and you wanna go somewhere where there's minimal lag. I would probably recommend a Pokemon Center where there's nothing that's gonna get in your way. So standing right here as you enter the door, just face the door, there's nothing that can go wrong. Hit the Y com, go ahead there and connect to the internet like this. Once you do that, well, once it's connected, <laughs> you can just close Ycom and, oh, by the way, make sure this is on your hack switch and with CFW enabled, okay? Now that we're connected to the internet, CFW enabled, we're ready to use the bot. The very last step, guys, you made it to the very last step, well done. You want to come back to your public source lantern bot here and you want to double click the run. Two black command windows will pop up and you want to use the code like this, guys, dollar sign. Duh. Check with a capital C, my with a capital M, seed with a capital S, and hit enter. So this is what the client will look like if Dudabot has dispatched and it's all working. You are going to get prompts, uh, you're going to see the inputs going up there, and that is what the clients will look like if everything, if there is no er errors. Of course if there are errors, if you went wrong somewhere, it's going to show up there and you're just going to have to go back and trace the steps. 
That's it everybody, special thanks to Fish Guy for he helping sort this tutorial out. I was really eager to get a tutorial out to you guys as well. However, I don't personally have a hack switch, so I couldn't demonstrate this or do it myself. And honestly, this some of this stuff is a little over my head. However, I managed to learn a lot doing this and watching this tutorial as well and talking with Fish Guy and Bradley and people in my Discord sorting out bots for everybody else in my Discord. Hopefully, we're going to have many, many bots soon. Hopefully, this tutorial is useful for a lot of you guys who want to get those bots up and running smoothly, I'm pretty sure it will be. So come on over to our discords, check out Fish Guy's channel as well, he's putting in a lot of great work, link is down below in the description, and hopefully you guys get your shinies. That's it from me guys, thanks for coming, have a good day, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!